Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of Exit Therapy. Now let's move to question number 41. If you discontinue to resistance training of muscles, then strength gain starts reversing back is the principle of Option A. Reversibility Option B. Specificity Option C. Maintenance Option D. Site Principle And the answer is Option A. Reversibility Now let's move to question number 42. Progressive increase in resistance during strengthening is done as per the principle of Option A. Reversibility Option B. Specificity Option C. Overload Option D. State Principle And the answer is Option C. Overload Now let's move to question number 43. Which is the most important muscle to produce upward rotation of the scapula? Option A. Serratus anterior Option B. Trapezius Option C. Levator scapulae Option D. Deltoid And the answer is Option A. Serratus anterior In some textbooks, it's trapezius. Now let's move to question number 44. Body system adapts over time to the stress placed on them is Option A. Said principle Option B. Wolf's law Option C. Both of above Option D. None of above And the answer is Option C. Both above now let's move to question number 45. Force output while doing resistance training is greater in Option A. Eccentric Option B. Isometric Option C. Concentric Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of the above Now let's move to question number 46. Trick moment for weak cordyceps is dash Option A. Hip extension by gluteus maximus which extends the knee through ITB Option B. Hip flexion, TFL, tensor fascia lata, which extends the knee through ITV. Option C. Both 1 and 2. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is... Option C. Both 1 and 2. Now let's move to question number 47. Activity like drawing, writing, painting, buttoning a shirt, blowing bowls is an example of... Option A. Gross motor skill. Option B. Fine motor skill. Option C. Hand-eye coordination. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is... Option B. Fine motor skill. Now let's move to question number 48. Otago exercise program is used to improve. Option A. Balance. Option B. Coordination. Option C. Both of above. Option D. None of the above. And the answer is... Option C. Both of above. Now let's move to question number 49. A range of exercises that focus on restoring and maintaining mobility, strength, flexibility, stability, balance, coordination, proprioception, ETC are known as Option A. Therapeutic exercise Option C. Restorative exercise Option D. Palliative exercise And the answer is Option A. Therapeutic exercise Now let's move to question number 50. A series of low to high intensity exercise work out is known as Option A. Periodization Option B. Interval training Option C. Aerobic training Option D. Endurance training And the answer is Option B. Interval training Now let's move to question number 51. Motor endurance fitness is assessed with Option A. Heart rate monitor Option B. Power meter Option C. Lactate threshold Option D. All of the above and the answer is Option D. All of the above Now let's move to question number 52 Passive movement that can be used for treatment is Option A. Passive physiological Option B. Passive accessory Option D. Both of the above Option D. None of above And the answer is Option C. Both of above Now let's move to question number 53 Movement that can a person cannot perform independently but is necessary for joint movement is known as Option A. Passive accessory Option B. Active movements Option C. Combined movement Option D. Classical movement And the answer is Option A. Passive accessory Now let's move to question number 54 Indication for passive movement is Option A. Maintaining range of motion Option B. Minimizing formation of addition Option C. Pain relief Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of above 
Now let's move to question number 55. Physical or biochemical changes in neural tissue that represents a memory of movement is known as Option A. Engram Option B. Perception Option C. Volteon Option D. Proprioception And the answer is Option A. Engram Now let's move to question number 56. Activity like walking, running or lifting is an example of Option A. Gross motor skill Option B. Fine motor skill Option C. Hand-eye coordination Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option A. Gross motor skill Now let's move to question number 57 Passive movement is ineffective in Option A. Increasing the muscle strength Option B. Reducing adipose tissue Option C. Preventing muscle atrophy Option D. All of the above And the answer is Option D. All of above now let's move to question number 58. Passive movement sequence in a patient with paralysis is Option A. Proximal to distal Option B. Distal to proximal Option C. Only proximal Option D. Only distal And the answer is Option A. Proximal to distal Now let's move to question number 59. Relaxed passive movement for draining fluid is done in sequence of Option A. Proximal to distal. Option B. Distal to proximal. Option C. Only proximal. Option D. Only distal. And the answer is Option B. Distal to proximal. Now let's move to question number 60. Type of quasi movement that is done to increase in range of motion. Option A. Relaxed passive. Option B. Forced passive. Option C. Continuous passive. Option D. All of the above. And the answer is Option B, forced passive. So that's all for today. If you have any doubts, please do mention in the comment box. See you in the part 4. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.